Equity markets not for the faint heart. Just take a look at that. From the lows, we've recovered close to 130, 140 points, or actually 180 points. Though at one point of time, we were at around 17,700. So in a matter of around you know, half an hour that we are opened, we have moved close to 250 points on the index level cells and plenty of stocks moving around. A couple of these stocks, they're still doing well. Adani Enterprises, though it's come up from the day's high. You pull up Ambuja Cements, it was up close to 13% just a short while back. That as well has come off a little bit. And ACC as well has come off a little bit, though all these stocks are still holding well in the green. We're talking about stocks that are holding in the green, well, data patterns. That stock is up close to around 10% the last time I checked. Well, to understand the past quarter, the way ahead as well, we're joined by Mr. Rangarajan, Chairman, and Managing Director of the company. Hi, Mr. Rangarajan, good morning, and congratulations on a solid set of numbers. The street likes what you've delivered. The point is, what's the outlook going ahead? Now, for quarter four, the last two fiscals, you've done revenues in the vicinity of around 160 to around 170 crores odd. Do you believe that this quarter four as well will be as good? Can it be better than the, you know, the, uh, the past uh, quarter four? And if that's the case, what do you end the year with? Earlier, you were guiding for around 25 to 30% you're comfortably going to beat that, right? Okay. See, uh, our business has been always quarter four focused till now. That is because, you know, the order pipeline was, order book was always small, so we were also pushing it to the end of the year. Today, the situation is changing, and we are also trying to aggressively make the quarter, first two, three quarters, much more rather than only quarter four focused. So that is what you have seen in the last three quarters. You know, we, you know quarter to quarter, we've been doing well. And uh, as for the guidance for the last quarter of the year, we have told you 25 to 30%. I think we can make that as a yearly, maybe we'll cross 40% revenue growth from last year. 40 to 45 is what you're looking at now. So upward revenue growth is uh, planned, and uh, that is according to what we're working on. And more importantly, it's, uh, it's that you need to look at this market. See, defense market is a long-term market. We have just started playing the game now. I believe you have to look at the next five years. I think we'll do substantially well. FI23, you're talking about a 40% growth over last year, right? Yes, 40 plus is what we expect. So you would end this year with revenues of close to around 430 crores. Just putting a rough path, 420 to 430 crores. So that's a gettable number for FI23. We right? want plan to exceed that number, yes, correct. And what about, what about FI24? What kind of a guidance to you? I mean, this year you're going to outbeat that 25 to 30%. You're going to do nearly 40%. But for FI24, what kind of a number you're looking at? And what about margins? You know, for the nine months, it's in that vicinity of around uh, 37, 38% odd. You have told us in the past you, you want to go to the mid-40s. Uh, yeah, what's the outlook? It will be around? above 40 is what we expect as far as the margins are concerned. And mm -hmm. the next year, we expect to grow probably another 30%. Mm -hmm. Okay, 25 another 30%. 30. 25, 25 to 30% 30 is the revenue growth that you're expecting in FY24, correct? Right. That's a solid growth year after year, Mr. Rangarajan, that you're looking at. Can you tell us a little bit about where the large chunk of the orders are coming in from? I do know what your order book is currently. In the last quarter, you saw about 163 crores mm -hmm. of order inflows. Uh, is that a quarterly revenue uh, order inflow run rate that you're looking at, about 160 to 200 crores? And where are you seeing the large opportunities now in terms of different segments? Uh, you see, our main business is coming from radars. We have a large part of the 1,000 crore order book we have. A substantive portion of the order book is in radars. We're also getting a number of orders in electronic warfare. Going ahead, you know, we, uh, the number of contracts are getting planned on BEL. Some of the earlier products we have delivered to DRDO, those are going to production. So we expect, uh, you know, those contracts to kick in in the coming years. And that is how the revenue will grow. Uh, second point is we also, the market size is very, very large. The percentage of market we access today is very small. Our intent is to actually build homegrown products to address the market, increase our total uh, addressable market so that the scaling can happen substantially in the next three to five years. So how much do you think you can do in terms of building your own products, scaling up the market? Uh, what is the uh, incremental opportunity size for you? And I do understand that you also have, uh, you know, you've been nominated as a development come production partner for Dornier as well. What kind of execution timelines are you looking at? Um, the Dornier upgrade, uh, the execution timeline, next year we need to deliver the products. It has to fly next year and based on which production orders will happen from HAL. This is for Navy and Coast Guard requirements. But um, I would say the first part of the question, 
See, we are a very development-centric organization. We build our own products from scratch. Mm. And now that the market has opened up for uh, Make in India full systems, <coughs> this is where we want to really put in efforts in all the areas of competence we have developed over the last few years. That is in uh, radars, in electronic warfare, in communication, avionics, probably satellites. We want to invest substantive money in product development and see that we scale the company because this is the time the company can grow and the market is very, very large. They're used mm. to buying from abroad and integrating in India. We want to make a differentiation. You know, we want to build products here and address the okay. market space. This is what we've been doing. So All right. uh, we will continue to do that very aggressively going ahead. All right. Uh, Mr. Rangarajan, we're a little tight on time, but I want to squeeze in a couple of questions. Uh, going by you know, the pace of growth and given that you have another manufacturing facility that will get commissioned in this quarter, which takes your potential revenue to around 1,000 crores. Going by the growth numbers you're looking at, by 2025, 750 crores, is it gettable? That's the first part. And the second part is your cash conversion cycle. As of the last quarter, you have declared it was around 360, 370, but you said that that's likely to come down to around 300 days. Do you hold on to that? Will it come down to around 300 days? Go ahead. Yes, uh, I think we should uh, look at sort of decrease going ahead two years down the line. And also, uh, with more production orders happening, and uh, our, you know, I think the cash cycles will come down like what we projected earlier. Year and year, we expect it to start coming down. There is a blip in the last this one year because we are ordering more material because of this problem of availability of components. So we need to deliver. So we are ordering ahead early. But that is a blip because the market now, the components have started coming uh, you know, in time. So we are able to predict market uh, delivery and components. So that once we get that uh, in control, I think the, you know, the overall uh, cash cycle will come down. Okay. okay, all right. Uh, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Appreciate you joining you. in uh, with uh, that uh, perspective. Thanks indeed.